Here's just one example that sprung to mind when I was thinking about the take-home message that Anthony Salomon refers to in his article on how to write um, successful academic blog pages. Um, a few years ago, I wrote an article, and for the title of it, I chose uh, something humorous called Clever Dicks Do It in a Condom. Now, I'd seen that with a big a sort of condom with a smiley face on it as a cartoon, as a, 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 um, a car sticker in the back of somebody's uh, window. And I based the article around that. And sometime later, I was speaking at a conference for travel nurses, and I was talking about the importance of condoms for safer sex. Then a number of years after that, I was speaking at another conference when a woman came up to me and she said, uh, uh, you won't remember me. She said, but you spoke at the travel nurses conference a few years ago. She said, I am a nurse and I'm now 65 and just about to retire. She said, but when I go to conferences, I tend not to take notes during the presentations. I just sit and listen and I just grab one takeaway message from each person. And the takeaway message I took from your presentation was, you said never have a travel con consultation with anyone without asking them about whether they have condoms. And she said, I've started doing this now over these last few years. I do it to everyone. She said, even if they're old married couples, they come in, they say they want their travel vaccines, and I always ask them whether they've got condoms for their holidays. And she said, but even with the, the, the old couples, she said, they'll always laugh. And they'll say, well, no, we don't need condoms. But now as you're talking, would you mind if we mention something else to you? And she said it's opened this huge tin of worms on so many different sexual health matters. She said that she's gone all of her professional life without addressing. And just by this one little takeaway message, she's now changed people's lives because she's having that consultation with them, um, whoever they are. So when you're writing your blog pages, yeah, keep them short, as Anthony Salomon says, keep them short, but you can also build up lots of different ones and just interlink them from one to the other. And that's the great skill then. And especially if you're writing stuff for publication, if you're getting articles produced or speaking at conferences, then you can also write your blog pages to alert people to that as well. So you're telling it to a different audience and maybe even in a different language than you would more formally in academic publications. So blog pages don't replace the need for you to be writing articles. Of course not. But it's just another way of disseminating your learning with others. Okay?